The question I get asked most is, what lens shall I buy? And that's what I will answer in this chapter. What is the difference between lenses? Well, there are quite a few points. First and foremost, the focal length, then the maximum aperture, crop or full frame, zoom or prime, image quality, build quality, focus speed, stabilization, macro capability, or in other words, maximum magnification, size and weight, and so on. Sounds like a lot to consider, but understanding the difference puts you into the position of buying what is right for you. Here is what you need to know about the focal length of a lens. Photographers call lenses with longer focal lengths telephoto lenses, while lenses with shorter focal lengths are called wide-angle lenses. In between we have so-called normal or standard lenses. More important for us than classification is how does the focal length change your image? The shorter the focal length of a lens, photographers call it the wider the lens, the smaller the projected image of your subject. That way, wide-angle lenses can capture a bigger angle of the scene, hence the name. The longer the lens, on the other hand, the bigger the subject will be projected onto your image. Here are examples of different focal lengths of the same scene. These images are shot on a full-frame sensor, respectively camera. I will explain the effect different sensor sizes have on your image in a later movie. We will start with a nice wide 16mm lens. The lens covers a very wide angle of view, that's why these kind of lenses are even called ultra-wide-angle lenses. Let's now quickly dash through some popular focal lengths. Next is 21mm and 24mm. 24 is still considered an ultra-wide-angle lens. 28mm and 35mm are wide-angle lenses. Next is a 50mm lens, which is usually very affordable. Almost all manufacturers have a 50mm 1.8 prime lens, more info on that soon. Lenses in this focal length range are so-called normal lenses because the images tend to represent the human eye best. Then we have 70mm. This focal length is very popular in high quality zoom lenses like the 24-70mm or 70-200mm. The next one is 85mm. From here upwards lenses are called telephoto lenses. 85mm and the following 135mm are very popular portrait lenses. Stay tuned, in our next video we will cover how the use of different lenses affects your portraits. Now we continue with 200mm. 400mm, which is often used for sports photography or wildlife and we stop our list with rather extreme 800mm. Let's recap. We went from 16mm all the way to 800mm. Don't be surprised about the mediocre quality of the last image. I don't own an 800mm lens, so I had to use a so-called teleconverter. A teleconverter increases the focal length of the lens you attach to it. But it comes with a downside. The maximum aperture also gets doubled, so you need a massive amount of light. Plus, the image quality will decrease. So you see, the lenses with longer focal lengths are like binoculars or telescopes. They just bring objects closer or enlarge them, if you will. Lenses with shorter focal lengths have a wider angle of view and can therefore capture more of a scene. I bet you now understand how the focal length of your lens changes the look of your image. Next, we will examine how different focal lengths and maximum apertures of lenses affect portraits. If this video was helpful for you, please help us rank higher in YouTube searches by subscribing, leaving a comment or simply spreading the word.